Greetings again. I am dipping into something truly unique today. I am dipping into a hecha from Fujian Province, China. It was made from uh, the cultivars usually associated with Silver Needle White Tea and Bai Mu Dan, uh, Da Bai and Da Hao. Uh, the garden uh, that this hails from is uh, owned by a company called Shang Tea and they uh, operate out of Kansas City, Missouri. I've had some of their stuff before, some of their, a lot of their white teas, and even a black tea made from uh, white tea cultivars that they made before. And this was really an interesting experiment that they did. Uh, they took a bunch of leaves from uh, 2011 that had been withered and dried like a white tea, but then they subjected it to a wet pile process. And, and then after that, uh, did a roast dry on it, uh, steamed it, caked it, and it's been aging for about six years now. So I dipped into it uh, back in, I think it was March. Yeah, whatever the blog says. <laughs> That's when I dipped into it. And I didn't give it a lot of detail. Um, or I didn't, I didn't do a detailed tasting on it. This time I wanted to be a little bit more precise, and that's what this video is for. I took about uh, three grams of uh, leaf cake chisel and subjected it to one on, uh, water at about 195 Fahrenheit, something like that. I don't go full boil on uh, anything really anymore just because of fear for astringency. So subjected that and I did three different infusions at about 30 seconds each. And I'm dipping into it now. Hmm, that uh, first infusion definitely is the uh, most white tea-ish of all of them. Uh, tastes like uh, a Baimudan or a Salme, only with uh, a bit of, a bit, of a bit more body to it. Not as, not as light, and uh, I wouldn't even say it's medium-bodied. I would say it's kind of like uh, silky-bodied. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Second infusion. Oh man, that's that's different. Uh, yeah, it still has the uh, the, the white tea-ish lean, but it then then it does this toasted macaron ascension, and then ends on sort of a ends at the top note at a, a eucalyptus sage-like note, and then it and then it drifts down, sort of back into white tea territory, but a little bit earthier. Third infusion. Okay, that is the most hecha of any of the other infusions. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a pure bud Hunan hecha made from uh, wild uh, tea trees that I had several years ago. And that had sort of a, a really, really sweet maple bark uh, flavor to it. And this sort of mimics that to, to a tea. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, there's also a piney thing there, too. Whatever. I really like it. Now I need to ponder whether or not I'm going to buy an entire cake. 